My name's Ryan Cox. I'm the CEO and founder of Hatponics, and I'm on a mission to feed 20 million people by 2020 using sustainable agriculture practices, primarily in the field of aquaponics. And Hatponics was founded with this mission and principle in mind that we could take uh, sustainable agricultural systems to the masses. We have projects in literally thousands of schools here in the United States. Uh, we have operations on five continents. Uh, we have at least 76 to 78 open international projects at any given time. Uh, ranging from Africa to Asia to the islands to uh, Central and South America or right here at home in America. I am Emily Holmes, Chief Biologist for Hatponics. We link all of our school systems um, with our international builds. Uh, we're in 26 countries uh, around the globe and whether we link them in person by taking high school students to Swaziland, Africa or Kisilaya, Nicaragua, um, Montego Bay, Jamaica, or just linking with elementary and middle school students via Skype um, and letting them participate and see that there are problems around the world. But then we also bring it to the community level as well with the majority of our systems in schools actually producing food for community food banks or to send home food with the backpack program. I'm Merritt Arnold and I'm a fifth grade teacher at Malcolm Ridge Elementary School in uh, Athens, Georgia in Oconee County and we decided to set up a, an aquaponics lab this year uh, using the zip grow towers so we ended up getting 16 towers and I think around 410 gallons of water but we're using that with our fifth grade kids to run experiments and to test out different things. One thing we want to do is I want to actually be able to provide some food for um, kids that are here in Oconee County that don't get enough food. We have some uh, program, uh, Feed the Kids, where we send bags of food home over the weekends. Kids that come here and eat you know, breakfast and eat lunch here five days a week, they don't have breakfast and lunch at home. Uh, we send food with them and I'm wanting to provide some of the extra food for them over the weekends that they can have. The gratitude of people um, when you actually show them that they can grow their own food and they realize that you don't have to go to the grocery store or that uh, lettuce doesn't come from the produce aisle, that you can grow it for yourself, you can grow it for your community and um, you can take ownership of your food. I'd say our biggest challenge is just the logistics of it. To take these systems and build them right the first time is a very difficult thing to do. So there's always some little detail that you didn't notice. And over the past year to year and a half, we've really honed in on knowing things like the fire code, uh, wheelchair access, and all the little small details that you have to put into a system to make the higher ups be happy with it, but then also how to make that system have the shock and wow value that our systems have. Haponics genuinely cares about feeding people, whether that's commercially or whether that's in a school system. Uh, 20 million people will happen at 2020, by 2020 with Haponics.